Welcome back. Humanitarian aid is arriving slowly to help people in remote areas of Ecuador following the devastating earthquake. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit the country on Saturday. The death toll from the disaster has soared to over 570 people. More than 7,000 were injured and 100 others remain missing. Ecuador's president says it's the worst emergency situation the country has seen in 70 years. One of the biggest Ecuador relief efforts is coming from a nonprofit organization based right here in Madison. SABA focuses primarily on forest conservation in coastal Ecuador to help educate locals on environmental sustainability. Well, they send a group of students to the country every semester, which they say has helped in this time of need. They're sending down more and more supplies and trying to coordinate with the local communities who have been very, very um, collaborative with SABA. You know, it's a very traumatic event, but luckily the communities, we've been working in the, with them for a long time. And so they've been able to really work together to help organize and to make efficient use of time and, and get people the help that they need. The president of SABA, who is in Ecuador right now, says they are focusing their efforts on more rural areas. People are afraid, even if their homes aren't damaged, they're afraid to return to their homes because of the repeated aftershocks. And so they're afraid to be inside their homes, even if their homes are still standing because of the risk of uh, continued damage. And so people are living in tent camps. The major needs right now are shelter, food, water, and medical supplies. If you would like to help in the effort, Go to our news link section on NBC15.com.